everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at Mystical Lands Christmas by Karen Myers. So this is one of a series of colouring books set in the Mystical Lands. You can see all the different covers here and it says on the back that Karen's been drawing fantasy themes since the age of four. She resides with her husband and dog in the rural countryside of Chester County, Pennsylvania. So in this book, you'll find 24 different illustrations and they've all been printed twice. So much like Hannah Lynn's books, you're getting two of the same image for you to, you know, use one maybe as a practice or, uh, you know, try different colour schemes, whatever you like. So we've got the book belongs to title page here. Then you've got your copyright information and your title page. So something to colour on pretty much every page so far, which is what I always like to see. You then got a bit of an introduction about the mystical lands, telling you about what Christmas time is like there, um, the Yuletide celebrations, the decorations, the little villages and secret hamlets, mushroom houses and tree stump cottages, all adorned for the adorned adorned for the joyful holiday festivities. So, uh, colour test page for you to test out your different palettes, test out different mediums, see how they react. On the paper it is an amazon create space printed book so paper isn't the thickest but um i've done some of my best coloring in amazon create space books so you know the the, the paper still works really well with a uh, pencil it's got a decent amount of tooth to it so don't worry about that so the first illustration we've got is advent hall you can see it is a very cool crisp snowy looking scene and I really love these borders that have got faces in between the tree trunks. It just looks really fantastical. This is the Bamyo Bake Shop. So it's kind of inside a bakery. You can see we've got the gingerbread cookies lined up, cooling. We've got some more ready to be rolled and baked. And then you've even got the really nice outdoor oven made of stone here so that they're baking outdoors. This is one of those books that has an awful lot of detail that you'll miss on first glance. So you really need to look at every single square inch of the page to sort of pick up on those little nuances and little details that she's put in, like the stockings above the flames here and um, the cute little cute little bed with the, the lamp, the, the diamond lamp above it. Um, you know, so there's a lot of different detail to look for. This is the Fairy River Crossing. This is kind of a contained illustration, which I prefer because it's not as daunting. You've got you've got edges and you've got confined um, sort of space to to do things in. So instead of having a whole sky across the top half of your page, you've got this little bit of a contained area. So that's a really good one to do quite quickly. Fairy Frost Cottage. Again, we've got a, a toadstool mushroom type of cottage. I love the washing, hanging up on the washing line. Um, and then you've got this really warm, cosy scene indoors. This is Festive Forest Hollow. Again, just another another home inside of a tree trunk. This is Good Cheer Guest House. So this is where you'd come to get away from it all and have a bit of a Christmas, um, a bit of a Christmas vacation. So here's one that I've started colouring, as you can see. It's not perfect at the moment because I've not finished it. So there are areas where the pencil's gone over that I would normally uh, clean up by the end of the image. But I'm not done yet. But I really enjoyed starting this anyway. And um, I really enjoyed doing the snow, actually. I just do snow with a bit of blue, usually, a bit of cool blue. So Holiday Hamlet. This is Jolly Ridge Snow Folk. Oh, by the way, just so you know, I didn't do this with Prismas as usual. I did this with Arteza pencils because I usually do everything with Prismas. Uh, Jolly Ridge Snow Folk. So this is showing you the little snowman and I love how he's holding this lantern. We've got a couple of little houses and a stocking and um, it's just they're really, really nice illustrations. Very, very festive and wintry and Christmassy and warm and I just love them. Magical Winter Blessings. So this is a scroll with a quote and um, you can do whatever you want with this really. This is actually a really good one to be practicing your old paper style. So maybe you're using, um, say, Prismacolor pencils. So you would use like an eggshell colour and an artichoke for the darkest parts of the scroll. Or maybe you want to go full, you know, whole hog and do it with a tea bag like we used to do at school. 
This is Merry Mystic Cove, much more of a full illustration. So it takes up the entire page. And again, just loads of detail. I love how the tree roots are coming down and you're sort of having this cross section of the ground and you can see what's going on underneath. Mistletoe Manor. Northwood Noel. Really like this roof, how it curls around. It reminds me of something out of the Grinch. This is Pine Cone Grotto. And Shady Side Sleigh Ride. So I think that this is some sort of um, uh, butternut squash type thing. I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> the only time I've ever tried butternut squash was when it was recommended to me as a weaning food for my kids. And it turned out that neither of us liked it. Uh, this is Snowdrop Inn. And Snowflake Hollow. Snow Valley Acres. So you've got loads of snowy um, fields and hills here to colour in. Sugarbird Chalet, really like this one. I love this frame, you know, as you walk underneath the archway going towards your holiday chalet. And then we've got Sugar Plum Shire, which again is contained inside a border. So another quick and easy one for you to colour. This is Trollmire Sweet Retreat. So we've got some um, cinnamon, we've got some sugar lumps in the in the hot chocolate and maybe marshmallows actually, they'd be marshmallows wouldn't they because they're floating. Um, cookies and um, sliced blood oranges and I think this is star anise, just really warm, cosy, spicy, comforting Christmas food. This is Winter Wishes B&B. &B. So they've got vacancies, you can check in, but you can never leave. Um, and then Winter Chill Cabin. Yuletide Hideaway. So this is an actual tree. So you're seeing the whole of the tree and then the top of it here, which is where you would stay. So you would go up the stairs. I'm going to say there's a spiral staircase in here because that's what I'm imagining. This is a nighttime scene as well. You can see you've got shooting stars and things. And then we're back to the beginning with Advent Hall. So all of those illustrations, 24 of them, are repeated in this book. So you've got one half and then the other half to practice on. You know, it's, it's totally up to you how you want to use it. It just gives you a little bit more um, options and breathing room. So if you mess one up and you want to start again, you can do that. So this book is really, really well priced at around £7 on Amazon. And I'll um, put the links in the description for the US and the UK so you can find your particular edition um, but yeah it's a really really nice book we are coming up to Christmas now so it's time to get your new Christmas colouring books in um, and yeah what more can I say I think the illustrations speak for themselves they're very very original they are very mystical and yeah I really really like them let me know in the comments what you reckon to this book and don't forget to thumbs up the video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire